Good morning. We're here in Grand Cayman. We're off to go to the theater to link up with our shore excursion. Let's go. Welcome to the theater. This is the meeting point for many tours. We have to show our tickets and then get a sticker with a number on it. When the number on our sticker is called, we go to the elevators in the midship and get ready to disembark. Hello, we made it out of the theater and we are now on our tender boat, about ready to go to Grand Cayman. Most cruise ship ports have piers where you can walk off the ship. Grand Cayman, however, does not have piers. Instead, they have tender boats you have to take to get ashore. To board the tender, we had to climb up this super steep ramp with large bumps. The front wheels on my wheelchair cannot go over large bumps. The person who pushed me was not from Celebrity. The man worked for the tender company. I told the man who was pushing my wheelchair, I need to go backwards to get over the bumps. He did not listen. He tried to ram my wheelchair over the bumps. My wheels caught and threw me forward. An employee from Celebrity caught me as I was falling. I screamed at the man. I cannot go over those large bumps on the ramp. I need to go backwards. He refused to listen and rammed my wheelchair two more times over large bumps on the ramp. Again, celebrity employees caught me as I was falling forward out of my wheelchair. The experience left me absolutely terrified. If I would have fallen, either me, my ventilator, or my medical bag with my TPN would have gone overboard. What an adventure, and we're not even on shore yet. This boat is making me really, really nauseous. The tender boat is moving up and down with the waves, and also side to side as people board the small boat. I am extremely dizzy. When the tender is full, we set sail for the shore. I am amazed how many people can fit on this small vessel. As we sail, we have beautiful views of Grand Cayman. In the distance, you can see another tender arrives so more guests can make their way to shore. As we get farther away from the cruise, I am shocked to see another cruise ship is right next to us. As we get closer to shore, there is not one, but two other cruise ships in port today. When we arrive on Grand Cayman, I am so happy. The tender made me quite sick. I am grateful to be on land. We then make our way to the tour bus. Once on the bus, we drive away from the cruise ship terminal to the east end of the island. We drive through beautiful scenery. Brightly colored homes give way to lush green vegetation. Our first stop is Collier's Beach. We see an amazing windsurfer. It is incredible to see the man do flips and turns in the air. Also, we visit the bathroom. I am very impressed. It has water, soap, a toilet seat, toilet paper, and tissue to wipe off your hands. I am very grateful and happy for that. Next, we visit the wreck of the 10 sail. This park commemorates a shipwreck which occurred in 1794. The ships were part of a convoy from Jamaica to the United States and Britain, which were wrecked on the surrounding reef. Locals braved the stormy waters and successfully rescued many passengers and crew. Sadly, eight people from the convoy died. Next, we drive along the stunning coast. The views of the water and beach are breathtaking. The beach seems to continue for miles and miles. As we continue our tour, we stop to watch water burst through these blowholes.
After watching the blowholes, we drive back towards Georgetown. The beach is soon replaced by homes, restaurants, hotels, churches, and schools. As we near downtown Georgetown, we go through a large roundabout. The tour guide said there are dividers in the road to help traffic figure out where they need to go. He said there are lots and lots of accidents in the roundabouts. As we continue through Georgetown towards Seven Mile Beach, there are the cruise ships. Before arriving at our next destination, the tour guide stops at a cute restaurant called McDonald's. This is very different from McDonald's in the United States. They have a very different menu. Some of the items include cow foot soup, oxtail, cow foot and beans, Cayman style beef, and of course, chicken, chicken, and lots of chicken. Having chicken on the menu makes a lot of sense because we have seen so many chickens around the island. Wherever we went, we saw chickens running around. I am waiting for everyone to get done with lunch. Once everybody is boarded on the bus, we will continue our tour. As we head towards Seven Mile Beach, the tour guide stops the bus and tells us this is where he lives. We all laugh. The tour guide does not know who actually lives here, but the home is worth about $10 million. As we make our way to Seven Mile Beach, we pass many large hotels such as this one, which is the Ritz-Carlton. Welcome to Seven Mile Beach. This is an absolutely stunning beach. Unfortunately, I can only go as far as the sidewalks. Where the sidewalk ends, there is a mat which goes onto the sand. My wheelchair will not roll on the mat. So I only look at the beach from afar. The last destination on our tour is Hell. In Hell, there are limestone formations which are unique to the island. There is a cute gift shop. Inside, visitors can meet the devil. The man is extremely nice. He tells me he has visited the United States and has spent time in Houston, Corpus Christi, and Brownsville, Texas while he was in the Navy with the Cayman Islands. After visiting the devil and hell, we start making our way back to the cruise ship. As we head back towards Georgetown, we pass row after row of hotels which line Seven Mile Beach. As we make our way back to Georgetown, traffic is thick. It is slow going through the streets due to tour buses and lots of tourists. After getting off the bus, it is time for my mom to shop for Cadbury chocolate. Despite all the stores, she cannot find Cadbury chocolate. We make our way back to the dock area to wait for a tender boat. As we wait for the tender to arrive, Celebrity treats its guests with cold water, cold water flavored with various fruits, and also washcloths, which are ice cold. Look, here comes our tender. Back on the tender we go. We zip across the water and say goodbye to our friends from Carnival and Norwegian. And there is our precious celebrity ship. Our friends from Celebrity are waiting for us to help us back on board the ship. So long, Grand Cayman. Hello, the end of my day has been quite an adventure. While riding the tender, I was extremely scared that the same man was going to push me off the tender and onto the ship who pushed me off the ship and onto the tender this morning. I did not care for the man. He refused to listen to me on how to operate my wheelchair. I was very concerned the man was going to push me forward, which would tip my wheelchair forward and I'd fall off. So not wanting this to happen, I refused to let the man push me in my wheelchair. Instead, I got up out of my wheelchair and attempted to 
push my wheelchair and my equipment and everything down the ramp and I thought that would be great and fine. However, I failed to calculate that I was extremely tired and now the waves were quite rough. The tender was moving up and down, the cruise ship was moving up and down, and the ramp connecting the two was moving up and down. <laughs> Everything was moving and my brain would have none of that. So while I was trying to get off, I kind of stumbled, nearly fell into the water, and thankfully they had someone in front of me and behind me. The man caught me before falling overboard. <laughs> then the man yelled at me for not going to my wheelchair, but I didn't say anything to him because I thought, you almost, you almost threw me overboard this morning. I am not going to for two with you. So instead I almost fell over myself. <laughs> and that would have been absolutely awful woman overboard but thankfully that didn't happen because I'd already gone to hell this morning and ready met the devil so I was done with death for today so that was my adventure coming back onto the ship then I rested a little bit and then we went to dinner my mama finally let me take a picture of her food before she dove into it and ate and ate and ate so I finally got a photo of her food so this is her food it's absolutely a beautiful presentation. They do a wonderful job with their food here on this ship. Everything looks delicious. And my mom said it was very, very good. After supper, I came back to the room because I am so tired and ready for bed. My mom went out to a show and she's probably gonna go to a couple other shows tonight. She loves to do the nighttime entertainment. Meanwhile, I stay in the cabin and rest and rest and rest because I am so tired and ready for bed. So that has been my day. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye. Stay tuned for next week. It is day four and we are at sea. The cruise ship rocks and rolls as the waves in the sea become quite rough. Water shoots out of the pool, making for a great water show. I become seasick and have a hard time staying upright due to the constant movement of the ship.